on some different shit. I might just hit your bitch. I walk in the park. Yeah, just off, just off the top. I was, I was watching. It was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game, and I was looking at a lot of these players. Like once the whistle gets blown, they're still getting pushed back or they're still getting slammed on the floor. And on this one play, it was about like four players tap trying to tackle Leonard Fournette. And when he failed, he hit the back of his head. But he was okay. It wasn't like he had a concussion. But you can see he was like, what the fuck? Like, no, like they've been blowing that whistle. You guys are not going to call a flag. So what what do you guys think about the idea of maybe adding a special type of a noise, sound, something that will pick up the whistle of the ref better so that these players don't know. And this could also stop the sacks because a lot of sacks, they still finish and take the quarterback to the floor because they can't hear the whistle. And then sometimes they'll get flagged for that. So what if they had a special device somehow? I don't know what they'll put so you can hear the whistle a lot more efficient. Let's go with uh, Isaac. How you feel about that? I think I think it depends on because right helmets you're getting hit all the time so I think if that could be sustainable that would be nice but at the end of the day I think that these players know that the whistle's being blown I just think that they're a little petty I think they like to you know slam them down or hit them and then go what I didn't hear them you know so I think that I think it's more of a petty thing and and uh, and you know I, I feel like everyone that's been on a football field has has seen or done that um, what I didn't I didn't I didn't hear the whistle, you know, after a late hit. And so uh, so you, you've you been on the field, but it's been times where you actually haven't heard the whistle, all right? Because you're such in motion. You're so yeah, focused in the game. Yeah. You're like, I got to get this hit. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you might want to blow. You might blow the dude up. Do it up. Whistle, yeah. flag, 10-yard <laughs> penalty. You just fucked up, and now you just got fined in the NFL also. Yeah. But, uh, Nate, Nate, how do you feel about it? You think it would be smart? You think it's maybe they just need to listen more? I think so. I I don't know how they would be able to do it uh, logistically, but I mean, I think some people are so in the zone, so focused on getting to a player that sometimes you might, you might not, like you tuning out the whole entire world, right? Yeah. And obviously this doesn't happen all the time. And a lot of times they probably do hear the whistle and they're they're just trying to get back there and hit somebody because somebody's, you know, it's like Tom Brady's beating you badly, right? Yeah. But at the same time, uh, like, I, the only way I could really see it really working is if you had some sort of device inside of the helmet that uh, that signaled while the whistle was going off. Uh, yeah. And obviously that wouldn't always work. And again, like, helmets are getting banged up. They're getting, like, like there's certain things. You still need that whistle. But I, I think it's a good idea, personally, yeah. Because I was thinking about it like you got you got these quarterbacks and you got guys that are, let's say, mic'd up during uh, during training camp or during an NFL game. When you got the mic on as a quarterback, you're literally having conversations with the coach all game. And I don't, I don't really hear nothing about them. And then also, let's say the, the ref can have a specialty device. He he might. I don't know how they'll do it, but it will literally only hear his whistle. It might have to be an electric type of whistle type of thing. I don't know how they'll do it. But Lamar, what's your take on this? Um, I feel like um, I feel like anything that's gonna make the game better. I feel like I mean I agree. I I would I would say if we got the technology to do it, let's do it. Shit, fuck it, let's do it and uh, let's see how it's gonna work. Yeah, let's see how it's gonna work. If the players complain about it, then we gotta adjust. But like you said, if we don't want those penalties to keep happening and we don't want you know games decided by these penalties. If I could, injuries, we don't yeah, yeah, we injuries. don't want people getting hurt. You can stop. You can stop it a little early. Yeah, guys, I, I see players coming in flying late all the time. I'm like, damn, man, slow it down. But then there's, there's always their excuses. You know, I'm already going so fast, so I can't stop. Or like, by the time I, I'm going so fast, I'm in the zone and I'm move. I'm just straight moving, 25 miles per hour. How do you expect me to hear a whistle and just stop everything I'm doing? My motion, my flow out of my game. I'm, I'm in, I'm in Ray Lewis mode. I'm trying to take a head off, but exactly. especially a quarterback. Especially at quarterback, and that's that's the disappointing thing. I used to love seeing a quarterback helmet pop off. Like, yeah. you know, you all right, you all right, big dog. I hope not. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you know, for sure, if any if, if any helmet pop off, you, you don't see a penalty thrown. 